This is how to reset the TP-Link RE205 and if you forgot your password you have only one option and this is hard reset which erases all data and you will set up this device from scratch including all networks, connections, passwords and so on. And if you remember your password you have an option to save the successful configuration into a file to restore the configuration after reset. So for the hard reset you need just a pin. So grab the pin, face the bottom of the extender, locate this small hole which is labeled as reset. The reset button is inside of this hole and just push the button until you hear the click. Now look here, something, something blinking. Yes, that's it. Reset is completed and now you can to set up the device from scratch after the uh, power indicator stops blinking and starts glowing solid blue. That's it, we're all set for now and... And if you remember the device password, you have a couple of advanced options. So on your PC, go to your Wi-Fi settings and make sure you are connected to the extenders network. Then go to your web browser and here you need to make your way to the extenders admin panel. The easiest way to do this is to type in tplinkrepeater.net and press enter. But if this action doesn't take you to the admin panel is some, in some reason, you can go to your router's admin panel. You see page unresponsive. Now, this is because I was connected via WPS. So sometimes tp-link repeater.net doesn't work uh, via WPS. So in this case, you need to go to your main router admin panel and make your way to the DHCP client list. It depends, uh, the location is depending on your router's model. Uh, so you need to copy the extender's IP address and paste it in the search bar in your new tab and then enter your device password, log in, uh, log in and in the admin panel go to settings, then go to system tools, uh, here you need the backup and restore tab, click on that and here we are, backup. So if you wish to save the successful configuration, you can create a backup file by simply click on this button. If you see this message, insecure download blocked, just click on keep. Uh, later you can restore uh, the configuration by uploading this file here. So browse for your file, upload it here and click on restore. Uh, or you can just make the soft reset, so restore all configuration settings to default values, accept your login and cloud account information. Uh, that's it guys, I hope this was helpful, thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel and have a nice day, bye!